We're incredibly proud to have launched Food for Thought and Brain. This incredible cookbook showcases not only some amazingly talented chefs, but more importantly, Tim's journey of illness and recovery through encephalitis. We hope that this book will bring hope to those who have been affected by this devastating condition, as well as some tasty treats to their kitchen table. I had encephalitis in 2007. Um, very ill, uh, horrible experience, lost a lot of my memories. Um, I lost a lot of mobility at the time of the illness and had to, had to relearn pretty much everything. What I did for a living again, um, and I had to learn how to cook. There's been lots of trials and tribulations. It's been a really good experience from concept to, to, to this, this, this final book, um, has been amazing. Um, but it's, it's been hard work and there's been a lot of people involved. It's not just been me, um, people in the society, uh, people from outside of the society have all got really closely involved and helped me out. Uh, and without their support, this would never have happened. I got involved with the cookbook by um, obviously being an ambassador for the society um, and Tim emailing me saying, oh, please give a recipe and I did warn him, I'm not the best cook. So he, he was fully aware to start with, but I do, I think being an athlete, we do obviously find easy recipes that are healthy, that are good for you. I got involved because I didn't know anything about encephalitis. And the more I learned about it, the more I realized that I need to get involved with something like this and to help to let people know about it. I think the cookbook's brilliant. I think it's been beautifully shot. Tim has really done an amazing job with it. And I just think it's such a functional cookbook because one of the first things I notice is it's wiped clean, which when you're a home cook like I am and there's mess everywhere and everything and it stands up on its own, it's fantastic. And the recipes inside are have all got a real good quality to them. And they are, I know we've got some sneaky little treats in there but it's it's a very good healthy eating cookbook they're all nice recipes and they vary vegetarians meat eaters they can all enjoy it what I love about the book so much is that it's for every single person whether you want something for a dinner party or you just want something for you and your boyfriend in the evening it's all there I think it's a great idea particularly because it's a it's a mixture of recipes you've got sort of the ambassadors people who are committed to the society so I think the fact it's a combination and it's not all good healthy food. There are a few treats in it as well, so I like that. Hopefully it will raise thousands of pounds for the society and by more people buying it will raise awareness of the society, which is, is what this is all about. Food for Thought and Brain Cookbook is absolutely amazing. It's been a great day working with Tonya Buxton and having her recipes in there. It's so nice to have that kind of Greek chefy element to it all because I love Greek food, so I'm a huge fan. Um, and just what everyone's done here, what Ava's done, what Tim's done has just been absolutely incredible and another successful day. Mm -hmm.